Greetings folks, welcome to another chat from the engineering desk. Today we're going to take a quick look at this, which is one of the original Dettol no-touch hand soap dispensers and compare it to the newer version which I recently purchased. And let's just get rid of that because it's visible. So we already know what this looks like inside. This one actually still contains some soap and batteries. Um, there's a reason why I stopped using these. It's because I build up a soap over here. can obstruct the, the beam from the transmitter. And if you haven't positioned this over in your sink so that the soap, if it comes out, because the thing thinks your hand is there and is not and empties all of this out um, it ends up on the kitchen surface if you don't position this so that soap just goes down the drain if it does get out and getting home to a full one of these emptied out over the kitchen surface turns a saint into a raging Profenosaurus. It's not pretty. So let's set that aside. And get into the new one. Let's unbox it. So starting off. Let's get a weapon. And gently cut the label. Right. I know that this is going to be very different judging from its size. The picture on the box and all that sort of stuff. Bag aside. Usual soapiness. Where are the destructifications? Keep away from kids. Keep it out of your eyes. The device is battery operated. Do not mix batteries. Don't set fire to it. Don't short circuit it. Right. Remove battery compartment. We found the destructifications on the front. Put a wax on, wax off button. Seriously, how's this supposed to work? <clears throat> Holding it like that, it's supposed to tip it over like that. All right, so I see it now runs off two of these. So, out to that, and we now have this bit. I'm not going to put soap into it. For this demonstration because we know how that works so that you've got a nice seal so that the rubber thing over there moves the switch
It works. So if I just hold my hand there continuously. I think they may have fixed that software problem so they do actually check to see that you're removing your hand. It gives you a second squirt and then it stops. Nice. Oh well. That's it, we're done with that. That aside. <clears throat> Let's find out what um, the business end of it looks like. Oh, that feels like it's a good fit. Can use this extension bar anyway. So, so far, <clears throat> I think that they have improved on the design from an assembly ergonomics point of view. We'll find out in a minute. <coughs> the rest of it's like I certainly see even up there on the old one the had like quite a fancy business going on there with the nozzle and the receiver. This one Hard plastic. And there's the transmitter. So Let's see what that looks like. See they're stuck to the same color coding convention internally. Little silicon bung there. To stop water and soap from getting back into the electronics. <coughs> now let's see if we can get this to yield its contents. May not be going back together. Unfortunately, mainly because you can't get the piping. Ah, right. Snippity snip snip. Okay. This is one of the newer types. which I've seen reviews of on YouTube 
then once you've opened this thing up you you can't run it the the old one the pump was a really well built thing you could have to run the pump outside the outside the unit you could play with it um okay there's the there's the one in the red pot the Nice. And there's the pump. Ah, oh, yes. There's the crank that worked it. And there's the uh, one rotation switch. So, let's open there, up the pump, up the spout, and the electronics, on the old ones it just had a little black dot on the PC board, coated with uh, Like they had in the old watches, wrist watches. <clears throat> this has got an uh, eight pin device. That's about it. So, yeah, they have economized on the design. Um, it is now certainly a lot more cost effective to produce. The the old one certainly was got a Rolls Royce piece of engineering and possibly a little over designed for its task. So that's what the new one looks like. Yeah, it's alright. The thing works. All it's got to do is pump soap. Let's be honest. There's nothing hard about that. Um, so that's old versus new been wanting to do this video for some time so thanks for bearing with me here it is I'm not going to bother trying to power it up at this stage um, I've cut off that but we know what it does I just wanted to see more from a mechanical build point of view what they've changed on them and they certainly have sort of it's now almost a one piece build I see there's a clip and a screw which presumably holds a pump onto things but it's now become a lot simpler and cost effective to produce which in this day and age you've got to do and the way the old one was built was nice but you can't do that indefinitely and it's expensive to do it like that so well done to them for sorting out this design and this is what it looks like and there we have it I'm going to wrap it up put everything away starting with um, tools thanks for joining take care be safe keep it classy and i'll see you around cheers